So assuming this chip is absolutely accurate, it will actually allow the MOSFET to pull current down through these resistors, which means that its open drain output turns off at 2.92 volts. That's really too high for a 2.7 volt supercapacitor. Um, I have just bought actually from AliExpress some 2.85 volt supercapacitors, but even those really shouldn't have 2.92 volts across them. So now I'm going to attempt to solder uh, the leg of that um, voltage detector chip back on so that it's doing its job. And it was, I detected that there was a problem here because I was charging the working capacitor circuit up and I got to about 2.8 volts, I think, and it just hadn't triggered. And I thought, well, that's not right. Um, 280 should be fine, shouldn't it? Oh, yuck, that tip's absolutely manky. I'll just clean the iron up. Yes, I'm going to attempt to solder this. I've got headphones on, I've got glasses on, I've got lights in my way, I've got cameras in my way. But let's just try dabbing that back on there. Yes, I think that's reattached. And what we should see now, I'll get the wires out of the way, is that the um, circuit with the working voltage detector chip, which now will be pulling the gate of this MOSFET uh, down to ground, means that the uh, discharge circuit will be switched off and the voltage on the right-hand capacitor should be allowed to um, rise up much more than the one on the left. I'm going to have to move my wire holding bits of blue tack so that we can see those voltages and already you can see um, that the right-hand supercapacitor is now starting to rise up in voltage with 482 milliamps of current flowing into it. I'll switch the soldering iron off. Back to one amp now of current uh, coming from my power supply. I've got 12 volts coming in here from a power bank, uh, but there's only three volts coming out because that's the total voltage across the supercaps. Um, I've written these um, part numbers in here. Well, they're not part numbers. They're what's actually printed on top of the chip. The MOSFET has 2N4. And in fact, in that article on Reddit, people were saying, oh, is this a 2N4 00 something NPN transistor? I'm pretty sure it isn't. It's a MOSFET. NPN transistor would just get viciously hotter. With Well, it wouldn't be able to dissipate one amp, would it? And also this CNP3 voltage detector, it is the 2.2 volt uh, version, although you you have to find it via that article on Reddit. Okay, so with one amp, um, I've got 1.37 on the left-hand supercapacitor. Uh, not enough on either of them to light these red LEDs. 1.93 volts on the right-hand capacitor. I'll keep charging. And uh, while I'm waiting for these capacitors to charge... Press the like button. The right-hand supercapacitor has now got up to 2.7 volts, which is its maximum voltage. Uh, the left one is kind of reached an equilibrium. Actually, it may not have done yet, but uh, it will reach an equ equilibrium at the current I've set, which is now 800 milliamps, because I didn't want to overwhelm uh, the one amp discharge circuit here. Now, the left-hand LED is ever so slightly on. You can just see a dim glow there. Of course, the right-hand one is not on because, oh, let's just refocus on the uh, schematic here, because the right-hand circuit does have this MOSFET gate pulled down to ground through the voltage detector IC. So this MOSFET is off. So there's no current flowing down through these resistors and there's no current flowing down through the LED and 1K resistor. That's now up to 2.8 volts. It still hasn't triggered. Um, this was what was concerning me because it was getting a bit high. When that gets up to 2.85, I'm going to have to kill this because, um, as I say, you can buy 2.85 volt capacitors. This is not one of them. This is a 2.7 volt capacitor. Now, I don't. I, if this uh, chip is working as we, uh, according to the data sheet, accurately, in fact, I've limited this at 4.5 volts, so it can't go any higher now. Um, it ain't going to trigger till 2.92 volts. 
So no, this is not working terribly well at all. And I think that I'm going to have to change the potential divider ratio for this to trigger at a lower voltage on the rise where the hysteresis does come into play uh, in order that this um, protection circuit actually works at 2.7 volts and not 2.92. And now, of course, I can't get this capacitor to discharge because, as I say, its protection circuit won't operate. So, dirty grey H4 car headlamp bulb. Let's put that across the capacitor. Bring it down to 2.7 volts. Of course, it's, oh, it is a, there was a faint glow there. Uh, but it's the only way I can get that capacitor down uh, to its <laughs> rated operating maximum voltage, which is 2.7 volts, like so.